Vicky Amber, our Lucelia Caballero joins us live from the ABC 15 helipad where the wind is always an important variable. Yeah, and really even within the last hour, those winds are picking up. It does feel a little colder and we want to show you that windsock blowing north northwest. And again, those winds have picked up significantly even within the last half hour. Earlier, we talked to the pilot for our Cliff Castle chopper who says these conditions aren't just dangerous for folks on the ground. This is the the only news helicopter left in the valley. It's housed near the Scottsdale Airport. It's an Airbus AS350 B2. Stephen Watkins flies the ABC 15 chopper. It gets the job done. It's kind of the workhorse of the industry. He says most days winds are calm in the sky, but things change when storms come in. It's far as scary. It just depends on how strong and bad the wind is, how turbulent things can get. So keeping control of the aircraft is the big challenge in this situation. He says if wind gusts go upwards of 30 knots, roughly 35 miles per hour, that makes things tricky. Mostly when you're getting gusts up to that, you want to come back and try to land, you know, as far as helicopters or small, small aircraft go. And it can even cause problems at Sky Harbor. They can't come in and make a landing at that point. They'd have to do a go around, then that that uh, brings on delays. For those of us on the ground, SRP says it's a good idea to weigh down trampolines, tarps, and other objects that can go airborne during a windstorm, preventing them from getting caught in power lines or toppling over like Blue Palo Verde, then we have a uh, mesquite. Maria Aguirre is an arborist at Trees for Needs. She says keeping trees in the ground comes down to proper maintenance. The main thing you can do for the tree besides the keeping them nicely thin is water them properly. You need to water far away from the trunk. Having strong roots is key. Any tree should be in the ground if they are planting the right way with the root system is correct. Not planted too deep, water properly and keep it nicely trimmed. They should be fine. She says that this will help prevent trees from becoming top heavy, potentially slamming into your home or your car. And we also talked to a State Farm insurance agent about protecting your home, and they recommend that you get those cars in the garage. You also get that patio furniture inside your home, of course, if you can. And in the case of a power outage, they recommend you have a flashlight and extra batteries. And of course, you can't forget that first aid kit in the case of an emergency. Katie, Javier.